Hi everybody, this is Bastian and this is the analysis of um, my second variation of the pet line against the Sicilian. So I'll just put the position on the board. E5 advancing the pawn. Knight C6. F4. And now black tries to undermine uh, the pawn island and plays d6. This may be the most common reply. So I continue with knight to f3. Adding a defender to um, e5. Now black takes the pawn, trying to get rid of the pawn island. And knight recaptures. So the knight is recapturing first, again offering an exchange of knights. Now, if black tries a normal move at this point, say h6, then knight take knight and pawn recaptures. We can see that black has isolated double pawns, which is bad for black. So, black will always try to uh, recapture the knight and pawn recaptures. So I have lost my pawn islands, but I do have this overextended and very annoying pawn for black. So it should be easier for black to take on the pawn because it's no longer protected. But it's still very hard for black to do so. So let's see what black can do and if natural development will work against it. Let's say bishop to f5 because the knight of course and the pawn moves are um, still prevented. Let's say black tries bishop development. Now, of course, bishop to g4 or uh, h3 cannot be played. Bishop to f5, then white should play queen to f3, attacking the bishop and attacking the pawn on b7. Now, there's no longer any protection on the c2 pawn. That's not important if um, black recaptures. I can play bishop check and of course black will lose the queen and a rook as well so of course the pawn cannot be recaptured black must retreat to protect the pawn and then white can continue with bishop to c4 to attack the pawn on f7 which is bad for black, or he can play bishop to b5 check, which may be even better. If the bishop blocks, so we're seeing a lot of movement of the same piece by black. Then queen take pawn, and the bishop is protected. And we can see that black has lost the pawn. Bishop recaptures, queen recaptures, check. Black will lose a second pawn as well on c5. Or um, white can just exchange queens. It's also good for white. So we can see that in this position, developing the knight is impossible, developing the pawn is impossible, developing the bishop doesn't work. What else can black try? He can try g6 to fianchetto, trying to get rid of the pawn on the e, fi e uh, file. So I had this played once or twice, but it's just too slow. Queen to f3, and if now the bishop develops, bishop to b5 check, bishop blocks, so there's no longer any protection on the pawn on b7. Queen takes pawn, and of course the pawn on e5 cannot be captured. Let's say bishop takes pawn, I can play bishop takes check, queen recaptures, black will lose the rook, and yet another pawn, or um, I can exchange queens, that's also possible. So capturing the pawn at this point is impossible. If black tries, bishop takes bishop. Queen recaptures. I get tempo with a check. 
queen to d7 to block queen takes pawn so I'm gaining yet another pawn in this variation and I'm protecting the pawn on e5 so a lot of variations will end up with black lo just losing pawns because his defense is uh, flawed and natural moves won't work so we see that the knight development doesn't work, the pawn development doesn't work, developing the bishop doesn't work. Um, the most logical move that black may try uh, is development of the queen. So queen to d4 or queen to d5 attacking the pawn, trying to get rid of the overextended e-pawn. So I'm playing this game against a 2100 player, so of course he's not going to continue with natural development that will end up losing pawns queen to d4 was played the best one of the two queen development moves attacking the pawn also preventing me to castle kingside so this may be the most common reply in this position I'm just showing the alternatives so you can know how to play against them Queen d4 was played in the game, and now white should continue to chase the queen. Perhaps not immediately, but the queen is in an awkward position with no supporting pieces. Already we can see that some of the diagonals are being blocked. And if white knows what he's doing, uh, he can play against it easily. So first, bishop to b5 check an in-between developing move that's important. White will try to play his queen to e2 to protect the pawn but in doing so he will block the e2 square for the development of the bishop so bishop development first is important. Black blocks and only now queen to e2. So black can recapture but the queen is protecting both the pawn and the bishop at this point Now, if black were to recapture the bishop, I can play queen takes bishop, check, attacking the pawn on b7. So, as far as king safety goes, black is much worse than white. If king to d8, so black cannot castle. I can play queen to e2 and black has lost castling privileges so I am again protecting the pawn on e5 I can play queen to b7 I don't like it it's not that bad but um, after um, queen takes pawn check king to d1 I have the same issue and I cannot castle queen h5 check queen f3 queen takes pawn recaptures it's equal for both sides so White well, shouldn't be greedy and um, just be happy that black um, can't castle anymore and uh, play queen to e2, which I believe is best. Now, if at this point, say g6 is played to continue development and attack the pawn, rook to f1, we can see a weakness on f7. If bishop to g7, I can take the pawn. If black recaptures the pawn, rook check, and of course the rook cannot be recaptured. Bishop recaptures, queen takes queen, I will gain the other rook instead, and a queen. If instead of um, bishop to g7, we get king to e8 to protect the pawn, we can advance the pawn with e6. If pawn recaptures, queen to b5 check. And we can see that black is going to lose uh, his bishop and his rook.
if instead f6 is played, I can recapture the pawn and black can develop his knight. But we can see that black has a king stuck in his center, he's no longer able to castle and has an isolated pawn on e7, which should be enough for white to win the game. White should uh, simply continue with natural developments. d3, um, followed by knight to c3 and then bishop to e3. White will be able to chase the queen uh, with tempo, developing pieces, and have a good game against an open king. Just an example. White can castle queenside, and his king is safe as well. So, let's say g6 isn't played, but f6 is played to attack the pawn immediately. Then simply e6, advancing the pawn, is good for white, it's very annoying for black as well. So it's not easy for um, black to uh, attack the pawn at this point. That's just what would happen if um, black were to recapture the bishop. Of course none of this was played, so I'm just showing the alternatives. After um, bishop to uh, b5, bishop to d7 and queen to e2, black doesn't recapture the bishop but simply castles instead. So I uh, take on his bishop, rook recaptures, still keeping the pressure on the pawn on uh, e5 and preventing white from castling. Of course, the queen recapture was possible as well, but then um, black loses those advantages. Also, um, this pawn will be without protection. Knight to c3. c4. So, c4 is obviously designed to um, block the diagonal of the queen. So, I can bring the queen in to attack the king. Also, when I move the knight to b5, doesn't have any protection from the queen. So black advances the c, uh, c pawn. If d3 take take it's not so good for white. So I just continue with knight to b5, attacking the queen. Queen goes to c5, and now he's counterattacking the knight. That's no longer protected. And I play a4, protecting the knight. Rook to d5, attacking the pawn with the battery, which in turn will attack the queen and the king. But black is already lost in this position. Perhaps not easy to see at this point, but um, simply b4, attacking the queen, it's devastating for black. Let's say if he tries to take the pawn en passant, this wasn't played, I can play bishop to a3, attacking the queen, queen must move, say queen to c6, I get a fork, doesn't seem to work. Queen takes pawn. Then rook to c1 and his queen is lost. Doesn't seem to work. If he doesn't try to take on passant but instead take just takes the pawn on b4. So it looks like I'm wasting a pawn. But I can play c3 again attacking the queen. Queen goes to c5, bishop to a3, and we can see now that this queen is becoming trapped. 
let's say queen to c6 again we get the fork queen to b6 we lead to a um, queen to b4 check sorry queen to c4 check king to b8 queen takes rook it's losing for black of course so we're threatening the pawn and the bishop so you say a6 to attack the knight queen takes pawn pawn takes knight queen takes bishop check uh, then king to a7 will lead to a mate pawn takes pawn queen takes pawn bishop to c5 double check and mate it's bad for black if king to c7 is dead we get queen takes pawn and black will lose uh, his second rook notice that this knight is still unable to develop because of the pawn that is being blocked or blocking the knight and the e5 pawn is still covering the f6 square so this pawn has turned out to be extremely annoying for black So if not a6 is played but knight to h6, just an example, we get a5 threatening the queen, queen to c6, queen to d8 check, queen to c8, queen to d4, threatening mate, b6 to block, pawn takes pawn, a6, Knight to c7, knight to f5, queen to d5, queen to b7, queen to d8 check, queen to c8, knight takes pawn check, king to b7, queen to d5 check, king takes knight, bishop to c5 check, king to b5, c4 mate, maybe the longest continuation but in the end there will be no escape for black none of this was played so back to the game bishop to a3 attacking the queen black tries rook takes pawn counter attacking the queen on e2 so i take his queen he takes mine I recaptured the rook and this was the best continuation for black even though he's losing material b6 attacking the bishop knight takes pawn check king to b7 rook h to b1 sacrificing the knight king takes knight rook takes b6 almost trapping the king e6 bishop to d4 e5 bishop to f2 I could have or should have retreated further uh, the first time it doesn't matter g5 rook to um, b1 creating a battery knight to e7 and now rook to h6 check forcing king to a8 then the rook falls back to a6 with a back rank mate so that's a 25 move mate against the 2100 player I played him again afterwards and let's see how the second game went it more or less followed um, the same strategy but um, went a little bit different Queen to d4 again. Um, Black felt comfortable with this move and didn't found didn't find any alternatives. So we're seeing the same setup in the beginning. Again, Black castles. I take. He recaptures with rook. Knight to c3. And here we can see uh, the start of a different game. 
instead of um, c4, advancing the pawn, um, Black tries something else, which is uh, e6, activating his bishop. a4. Now, in these variations, uh, in a previous game we saw uh, a4 being developed to protect the knight. So there are two possibilities. I can develop the knight immediately to um, b5 or I can push the pawn. So both are strategies that will work. In this game I'm not um, developing the knight but pushing the a-pawn which is a, a simple and winning strategy for white. King to b8, a5, still pushing the pawn. Queen h4 check g3. Queen h3, so black's queen is infiltrating my back ranks. Um, a6, just pushing the pawn. Now black has to decide what he's going to do with the a pawn. And he plays b6. Rook to a4, so that's the advantage of the pawn push. I can play a rook lift um, to any rank I want. Rook goes to um, a4, the open rank. Knight to e7. So finally, black must develop, and he cannot develop to f6, of course. Rook to h4. So again, we're seeing the same strategy, chasing the queen. Queen to f5, d3, opening up the lines for the bishop. Knight to c6, so we can see black is looking for counterplay on uh, the e5 pawn. Rook to f1, chasing the queen. Queen to g6, knight to b5. This move is important because black is threatening a jump with knight to d4 and it needs to be prevented. Knight to b4 instead. Now black is um, attacking the c2 pawn. Rook to g4, chasing the queen. Queen to h5. Rook to f4, in cases creating a battery. Also attacking the queen. Now if queen takes queen, king recaptures, knight takes pawn, rook takes pawn, rook takes rook, rook takes rook, is good for white. Let's say g6, then rook takes pawn, is possible. Let's say knight to b4. Then we get knight to c7, attacking the pawn on e6, and then again attacking the bishop on f8. So keep in mind that the bishop cannot move, and all squares are being covered. So if, say, h6 can take on the pawn, knight takes pawn, knight takes bishop, and white is winning, of course. More complex is knight takes pawn immediately, then bishop to e3, which will cover d4 because of the knight jump, which will protect the pawn on e6. So knight takes bishop, king recaptures, g6 to create an escape for uh, the bishop. Knight takes pawn, bishop escapes, and king to e4. And we can see that uh, white has ended up with a passed pawn on the e-file. Bishop to c1, I can advance the pawn. I can play knight to um, f8, which will block the rook. Also, which will threaten the h-pawn. If h5 is played, knight to f8, I can attack the other pawn. Rook to g8, e6. And there's not much that... Black can do to stop advancement. Bishop to g5, h4, will kick the bishop. Bishop to d8, 
e7 and we can see that black is losing a minor piece yes um, black has to be careful not to recapture immediately but play the in between, ch in between check so he can keep the minor piece those are all uh, possible continuations let's go back to the game d6 was played in this uh, game a4 a5 pawn to g3 blocking the check queen to h3 a6 b6 rook to a4 knight to e7 chasing the queen, queen to f5 d3 activating the bishop I'll just go to the last position and instead of queen takes queen so which wasn't played queen to g6 is played instead rook to g4 attacking the queen queen to h5 rook to f4 queen to g6 so um, I have to be careful not to uh, draw the game here so h4 advancing the pawn attacking the queen knight takes pawn and this pawn was hanging queen to f3 now I'm creating a, a strong battery on the f7 pawn knight to b4 so the knight retreats and rook takes knight black overlooked something I'm chasing the queen but when chasing the queen the value of your own material is not as important as trapping your opponent's queen not as important as the functionality of your own pieces so in this position I can't use the rook to trap the queen I can use this bishop to trap the queen so I'm exchanging Rook takes knight. Of course, black is forced to recapture or uh, lose material. And now I can move the bishop to f4. And this bishop can trap the queen. Black tries rook to d5, counterattacking on my knight. h5. Queen to f5, the only square. g4 and now black's queen is lost queen takes bishop, queen recaptures rook takes knight queen takes pawn rook takes pawn, check, king moves rook to c5 and queen takes another pawn on e6 b3, c3, so I'm keeping my pawn shield g6 Queen check, rook to c8, queen check, threatening the other rook. Of course, the rook cannot be recaptured, otherwise, we get bishop to h6, check. King to b7 is played instead. Well, queen to b7 is played, and rook to f7, check, is played instead. King to a6, c4 bishop check king to c1 and bishop to c5 of course I'm threatening queen to b5 check and mate queen to d5 threatening a check on b7 rook to b8 to cover that queen to c6 again threatening the mate on uh, b5 sorry I'm um, bypassing the bishop there's no defense to that when black is made at that move um, 42 so that was um, an extensive review of uh, my system against the Sicilian it's a bit uh, complex and um, the, a lot of variations were discussed and I hope you enjoy them and can use this system in your own games and thanks for watching and have a great evening